European stocks traded higher in the morning after the U.S. and China agreed a phase one trade deal offering some optimism for risk assets. Well, let's see how that and other developments are playing out in Frankfurt and other European markets. And Conrad Bosen is on board. Hello, Conrad. Good to see you. Hello. Good afternoon, Timmy. I'm honored to be back on Channels TV. You're welcome. Let's start with the latest Eurozone flash PMI data that was just released um, this morning. What does it say for Germany? Well, I have to tell you the data is not looking good. The recession in Germany's manufacturing sector has continued, so the purchasing managers index for this part of the economy has fallen to 43.4 points from 44.1 in November. That's a negative surprise. A majority of economists had forecast that this index would increase. Uh, and the numbers from the services sector, we've seen an upswing there, simply are not good enough to make up for this. So the overall uh, German purchasing managers index is below 50. And that, of course, indicates an overall recession. As a consequence, for the first time in nine years this year, the German manufacturers have not increased their workforce. Um, there are currently 9,000 workers less employed in the German factories than in December last year, so that the total amount of jobs in the manufacturing sector is 5.7 million. That's around about 13% of all jobs here in Germany. There is a slight sign of hope, though. I can tell you that more, more economists are saying that this downswing in the manufacturing sector is coming to some sort of bottom and that uh, very, very slowly a recovery is uh, showing up on the horizon. Okay, let's talk about um, trade. Of course, um, the phase one uh, deal between the US and China has inspired markets in many places of the world. How about Frankfurt? Are traders talking about record highs there? Yes, they are, Jimmy. You know, the trade dispute uh, between the U.S. and China, but also all the other hassles that other countries had with uh, Donald Trump and his administration, including Germany, they were a major reason for this recession in the German manufacturing sector. All over the world, uh, decision makers in businesses, decision makers about large investments, refrained from making those decisions because they were made nervous by this trade dispute. So the fact that we now have this phase one deal between the US and China, of course, is positive for sentiment, even though we are still very short on details uh, about how this deal really will look like in the end. But uh, sentiment is positive. The market uh, here in Frankfurt is up. Look at the German share index, the Deutsche Aktien index, our stock index here. It's, it looks like a sideways day, but it's actually a positive day. And at the moment, the German index is away around about 200 points from uh, the record high it had reached in the year 2018. Now, 200 points to go. There are at least a few traders here who predict that we are going to see another all-time high before the year ends. I see. Let's watch and see. Anyway, what about those reports that China is threatening uh, retaliation if Germany proceeds with plans to ban Huawei from its 5G networks? How risky can this get for Germany and um, for your telecoms? Well, of course, it's a political risk, and uh, that's why it's a risk very difficult to evaluate, you know, despite the fact that both Huawei on the one hand and on the other hand the government in Beijing keep insisting that they have no close relations. Of course, the way that the government in Beijing is treating everything about Huawei shows that this is really a top priority for the government in Beijing. That is really that it's really a state affair if Huawei gets into trouble. So, of course, the government here in Germany is taking this quite seriously. It's very unlikely, though, uh, that the German government will really single out one company and say this company will not be allowed to join you know, the offers for the 5G networks here in Germany, it's more likely that the government will identify and formulate very strict security measures that all of the companies that want to get involved with 5G have to follow. And, well, if Huawei fails to meet those requirements, they will simply not be in the business. 
some of the telecoms here in Germany already have said that they do not want to include Huawei in the core uh, of the 5G networks, which doesn't mean that Huawei will be out of business. It means that there's still a lot of non-core technology that Huawei can get involved will, with. But of course, this will be a delicate topic for a while. Uh, the German government, also the German telecoms, are likely to want to see a very quiet, compromise-oriented uh, uh, solution and you know, not getting in some sort of face-off with the Chinese or Huawei. Mm. All right, Conrad, I guess we have quite a lot to chew in the course of the week and as we approach uh, the festive season. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of the day.